Okay guys, recently Shaitoshi released an announcement that Shiba Inu is venturing into a global fast food chain partnership with Willys. The announcement was released via Twitter and was shortly followed up by a Medium article which explained all the intricate details. Then, shortly after the post, Shaitoshi released a statement to address some of the FUD for the people who found it hard to understand the vision and the strategy. In today's video, I'll basically be giving you Shaitoshi's words through this animated video and hopefully I'll be able to illustrate some of the main points for your understanding. Just a note, guys, these are Shaitoshi's exact words and I'll only be adding in my own commentary at the end. Alright, welcome back to Shib Planet everyone, this is Ace. Today's video will be delivered in animated format. Okay, let's hear from Shaitoshi. Okay, okay. Let me sum up the medium for those who will just install FUD. The first thing, we are not partnering with a huge centralized chain that sells CRUD. We aren't a boy band. And the second thing is, this isn't a partnership. This is a complete rebrand. And some could say it's a complete takeover with the ability for us to scale to many stores quickly over the next two years. And the next thing, the chain will fully integrate with Shibarium, Shib, Bone, Leash, and Shiboshis using our technology and therefore adding value to the ecosystem. So, if you don't see the value in having our own chain stores which can open worldwide with shipped, branded food that is super high quality and delicious by a seasoned restaurant, then I don't think you get it yet. This won't happen overnight, but eventually you'll be able to grab healthy food from your local welly and burn some shib in the process and know where your food came from and help in the process of where to put the next store. To me, this is a no-brainer, and it still is. And now about improvements. Cal is back on the case on the tech side, speaking of Shibarium, while the marketing and growth side continues flushing out deals to break the internet. This isn't just one deal, we aren't a one-trick pony. There are at least two to three more which we are working on right now, one of which we will announce this month and we are truly just getting started on this SHIB in real life side of things. So, this is the concept, SHIB everywhere, quality, ethical food and decisions, agility and technology in any industry which we can get our paws into. So, while you might think this is not a big deal, I can assure you, the big boys do think it's a problem, and they are right, woof. And here are a few community responses and Shaitoshi's responses to those. Diamond Hands says, Not a single person in the US knows what the hell wellies is, lol. And Shaitoshi responds, I didn't know what Shiba Inu was either when I started. And then Faboshi says, I also have a SHIB inspired restaurant idea for Australia, where I live. And Shaitoshi responds, Let's go. This doesn't have to be the only one. You have one there, let's do it. We have connections there as well. Let's start a snowball effect. And there you have it, folks. That was Shaitoshi's comment and his responses. Okay, guys, the way I see it, Shiba Inu has basically taken over a food chain and will basically be the first blockchain based decentralized food outlet in the world. Through the power of the doggy DAO, the community is going to be able to basically vote on new store locations worldwide and maybe even get to get a say in the menu items and promo partnerships. What other food outlet is this decentralized and gives the community this much decision making power? And I totally understand that just one food chain is probably not going to take Shiba Inu to the moon, but this is just the first of many deals which are in the pipeline. And speaking about the value and tokenomics of this, I believe the potential of this is huge. I researched and found an average that an average small burger joint can make about 120,000 a year. Soon, five stores will open locally and then another five in a different country and then maybe 100 stores worldwide over time. This will mean there are hundreds and of thousands of transactions which are happening on a daily basis. And since these stores run on the Shibarium blockchain, it means that there will be SHIB token burns and bone transaction fees with literally every transaction. And so, over time, this will mean a constant deflationary pressure on the Shiba Inu token. So, I like to think of it like this. The biggest complainers in the SHIB army always cry for burns, but not one of the complainers has ever sent their SHIB to a burn wallet. So if you aren't going to do it, 
the Shiba Inu team is getting the rest of the non-crypto world to do it through utility. And remember, this is just the first deal announced on ShibaNet. Shaitoshi's goal is to disrupt all industries. Imagine what happens when other types of companies become Shibified and adopt the same decentralized philosophy. Imagine other types of food outlets. Imagine clothing outlets, health and beauty outlets. Imagine various e-commerce outlets. Anything with a supply chain. All different types of therapists, cafes and coffee shops, consultants, hairdressers, and the list goes on. Imagine if they scale globally too. Wouldn't you rather support a quality business if you knew it was making your precious Shiba Inu more valuable by burning tokens at the same time? So, maybe let's stop being one-dimensional, guys. Even McDonald's started with just one store. Imagine if McDonald's started with Shiba Inu tokenomics. How many would their token have burned by now? Except SHIB is decentralized and not limited to just one industry. And if you're really up to date with your crypto knowledge, you'd be aware that NFTs and DAOs are the next big thing, which even big corporations like Nike, Adidas and Disney are getting into. And Shiba Inu is basically giving small businesses a head start into this new wave. And all those businesses and industries will be integrated into Shiba Inu's metaverse. This could be the start of something big. In Hebrew history, a young small David slayed a veteran giant soldier Goliath using a small and unexpected weapon. Let's not be like those people who thought the internet would never be a thing. Let's not be those guys who said CDs and DVDs would never be replaced by streaming services. Let's not be those people who thought no one would ever pay a stranger to drive them around instead of a taxi driver. Let's be part of the change. And I haven't even touched the crypto side of things, but that's for another video. And that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, there's no need to subscribe. The best way you can support it is by giving it a like and writing your opinions in the comment section below and sharing it on social media. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This is Ace. Peace.